हेलो फ्रेंड्स द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज डिस्कशन इज बेर स्ट्रेंथ थियोरी इन दिस वी विल डिस्कस द फॉलोइंग पॉइंट्स इंटीरियर एंगल ऑफ अ पॉलीगॉन बेर स्ट्रेंथ थ्योरी लिमिटेशंस ऑफ बेर स्ट्रेंथ थ्योरी एंड सेक्समोर थ्योरी इंटीरियर एंगल of a polygon we all know that the interior angle of a regular polygon can be calculated by this formula interior bond angle is equal to 180 minus 360 upon n degrees where n is equal to the number of sides of the polygon for example in an equilateral triangle n is equal to 3 so the interior bond angle will be equal to 180 minus 360 upon 3 is equal to 180 minus 120 is equal to 6 degrees similarly for an square the interior angle will be 90 degrees for a pentagon it will be 108 degrees for a hexagon 120 degrees and for a heptagon it will be 128.6 degrees bayer strain theory adolf von bayer a german chemist in 1885 made a proposal to explain the stability of carbocyclic compounds like cyclopropane cyclobutane cyclopentane and cyclohexane he postulated that carbocyclic rings are planar just like polygons this means cyclopropane skeleton is just like an equilateral triangle cyclobutane skeleton is just like an square cyclopentane skeleton is just like a pentagon and cyclohexane skeleton is just like a hexagon in cycloalkane the ring carbon is sp3 hybridized the ideal bond angle of an sp3 hybrid carbon is 109 degrees 28 minutes or simply 109.5 degrees in cycloalkanes the interior ccc bond angle deviates from the ideal bond angle of 109.5 degrees this deviation in the bond angle causes a strain in the molecule called angle strain which decreases the stability and increases reactivity the amount of deviation is the measure of strain of the ring the greater the strain the less stable is the ring now let's make a table for better understanding the table has four columns the first column from the left is for the compound second for the interior bond angle third for ideal bond bond angle and the last one for the angle deviation which is equal to the ideal bond angle minus real bond angle for cyclopropane cyclobutane cyclopentane cyclohexane and cycloheptane the interior ccc bond angle will be 60 90 108 120 and 1 to 8.6 degrees respectively 
the ideal bond angle will remain 109.5 degrees for all. So, the angle deviation in cyclopropane, cyclobutane, cyclopentane, cyclohexane and cycloheptane will be 49.5, 19.5, 1.5, 10.5 and minus 19.1 degrees respectively. So, according to the bayer Easton theory, among the cycloalkanes given in this table, cyclopropane with the highest angle deviation will be the least stable, while cyclopentane with the least angle deviation will be the most stable. Among cyclopropane, cyclobutane, cyclopentane and cyclohexane, the stability order will be cyclopent cyclopentane is more stable than cyclohexane which is more stable than cyclobutane which in turn is more stable than cyclopropane. Continuing this argument rings with more than 7 carbon will be more strained because of larger deviation in the bond angle. Limitations of the bayer strain theory bayer strain theory is partially correct because cyclobutane is more stable than cyclopropane as described by bayer strain theory. This theory predicts cyclopentane to be more stable than cyclohexane which is incorrect. In reality, cyclohexane is almost strength free and it is more stable than cyclopentane. This theory predicts intermediate ring size and higher ring size to be very strained which is also incorrect. In reality, Cycloalkanes of intermediate ring size have only modest strain and ring of 14 carbon or higher are strain free. These are the reasons why bare strain theory proved wrong. It considers only angle strain assuming all the cycloalkanes to be flat. It does not consider torsional strain which is the strain due to eclipsing of bonds on the neighboring atoms and it does not consider hysteric strain which is the strain due to repulsive interaction when atoms approach each other too closely. Saxe-Moore theory. Later, Saxe-Moore proposed that in cycloalkanes with 6 or greater number of ring carbon, ring atoms are present in different planes to restore normal tetrahedral angle and ring gets puckered. The ring free from the angle strain is called strainless rings. For example, in the planar form of cyclohexane as proposed by Bayer, the interior CCC bond angle is 120 degrees which is 10.5 degrees higher than the normal tetrahedral bond angle. But if we see the puckered chair form of cyclohexane, the interior bond angle is around 109 degrees which is very close to the ideal tetrahedral bond angle and due to this cyclohexane ring is strain free.